What's good, YouTube? I am doing well. My name is Monster J, and welcome back to another brand new video of Fan of Forces. Now, let me explain to you guys why why I took a hiatus from my YouTube channel for so long. For one, uh, you know, I was so busy with work, you know, just working long hours, you know. It, it's, it's, it's just kind of, it's kind of stressful, you know. And uh, my second reason is, is that I actually built a brand new spanking PC. Yes, boys. I will probably show it on onto the on the screen up on the screen right below you. Uh yeah, the, that, that thing looks amazing, dude. Like like it lights it lights up and everything, bro. I just I just freaking I just freaking love it, dude. Specs in the computer will be down in the description below if you're interested in, in buying one. There has been a couple of a couple of new weapons added into the game for one, the K2. And uh, the K7 has been added as well, but I already covered that in my last video. And uh, the MG42, as, as long with the HK417, we will go over that as well. The, KI, and the KIA, the K1A, I call it KIA. And uh, there's actually a new sniper rifle, finally, called the K14. So it's basically like a full like K, like a K family or something, ex excluding the MG42, you know. But this one I'm intrigued at the most because we actually haven't we haven't really had a new sniper rifle in a while, and uh, it will be pretty interesting to finally, you know, have a new sniper rifle in, in the category for once in a, for once in a while, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna you know mess around with this for a couple of bit. You know I'm a marksman rifle myself. Boy, I already got a kill. Uh, oh my god, I can't snipe for nothing. It's been, it's been a while having it. What the heck? Oh my god, I do. I was just getting a hang of it, I swear. And so far, it's it's nice, pretty quick. It's pretty smooth, to be honest. I like it. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get a couple of kills with this sniper and then, and then, look, and then look at the stats. It's honestly a really good sniper. I actually like it. Like, it, it like balls very quickly. And it actually does that. My guess is. The muzzle velocity is really is like it's probably good too. Because the muzzle velocity is important when it comes to snipers. How did I miss that? And it actually does have a lot of bullets too. It has a lot of reserve ammo. And that's another oh my god, I'm popping off there, dude. Like, dude, I'm not missing right now. Oh my god, I just, got, I just hit my head. How is he not? How is he not dead? Question mark. My man's god, bro. Oh my god. Who do you think you are? Like, sit down, my dude. Look, this new build has turned me into a god, bro. Alright, your boy's gonna... Bro, just, just die, dude. Like, holy lord. My man has been... My man has been avoiding death for so long, bro. I missed, dude! I missed, bro! That was an easy shot! Oh! My God! Alrighty then. Looking at the stacks, it does it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a really good maximum damage to minimum dam damage, but it does have a he hell of a high torso multiplier. So, if I take the maximum damage and multiply it by the body multiplier, it'll probably change the result drastically, dude. But if you hit this thing in like the arms or legs, yeah, you're basically out of luck. You're gonna like you're, you're gonna have the two shot. So let me times fifty. You're look you're looking at about one oh two damage in in the body, bro. That's actually insane. And, and the fact that you hit up to ninety studs, that's actually pretty wild, dog. Holy shoot. I think you can one shot up to ninety. 90 studs in, in CQC. That's actually that's actually crazy, dude. But I truly, I really do like the sniper already. Looking at the stats, it, the stats is like astronomical. I actually, I actually like the sniper. It's actually really good. All right, next thing we're gonna try to test out. Okay, this this has a couple of like this has this has a couple of interesting like attachments that I wanted to try out. The MG42. Uh, 
looking at the stats, it has a we already know it has a pretty hot hell 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 of a high of fire rate, and can pack a punch, plus the torso multiplier, and uh, like shoot, it, I, I can expect the recoil to be just insanely high. So we're gonna we're gonna add some add some attachment to it. Of course, we're gonna add the the muzzle brake. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'm I'm gonna slap a folding on it. And a heavy ball. What it does is uh, it makes what the heavy ball does. It makes a uh, makes it easier for you to control the the recoil onto the weapon in exchange for much slower movement. Slow. So if you're like if you want to control the recoil a lot better and not and, and don't really focus on movement, then you can use a heavy ball. But the light ball is actually the opposite of that. It uh, increases your mobility in exchange for a lot worse recoil. So if you want to focus on movement, then yeah, you, you can use the light ball. But for me, I want to use the heavy ball because you know that recoil is going to be insane, and we're going to slap on an AP on it. Oh, it also decreases the um, decreases the fire rate, which is pretty much the reason why you can control the recoil a lot easier. It's like the point twenty two three Remington, but and but it's not really like you know an ammo attachment or whatever. We 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 want we want it slow as heck. That's the first thing, but but yeah, it's gonna it's, it's gonna really pay off. It's gonna really pay off when I you know, control the recoil because that thing that thing like has a hell of a lot of camera recoil and a hell of a lot of vertical recoil. So the heavy ball would really come in handy if you looking to decrease the recoil a bit or control it a lot easier. Bro, like, my man, my man's everywhere, dude. Like, sit down, my G. Oh, yeah. That recoil is kind of easy. easier to control. And that thing reload kind of fast, though. Oh, my God. It still has some, it still has some, some horizontal recoil, though. But it's because I put on the folding and the muzzle brake, so it's really gonna... So the horizontal recoil is really gonna show. I'm guessing that Silas is trying to plan like plan on adding like more core five weapons onto Phantom Force now. I've, I've been noticing like they're like they're they're adding like more weapons as from original originally from core five and transferring transferring into Phantom Force, I believe. Alright, so the next weapon we're gonna be testing on is the K2. Looking at the stats, looking at looking at the damage to, to be exact, um, I'm guessing I'm guessing it's, it's probably a three shot kill in CQC and five shot and five shot kill uh, in LRC, which is not bad in CQC, but in, in long range, it's like it really is a pack and a punch, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold it's gonna hold up as well. Yeah, the the candy cane melee. It's a pretty interesting melee, I would say. With a pretty interesting inspect and inspect animation as well. That's pretty sus, bro, if you ask me. That's that's pretty sus. Oh my god. Where did you come from? Ooh, they changed the sound? It used to sound just like the um, Call of LMG, but... I guess it changed it. Did it always sound like that? I don't know. I could be true. I don't know if it changed the sound. If it changes the sound to this time. It probably not. I don't know. But yeah. Honestly, not a bad assault rifle. I would honestly use this. I will honestly use this and with this setup because I honestly do slacks. I have aimbot. He has no idea. He has no idea. Yeah, this thing is awesome, dude. Like, I absolutely love it. Like, look. Like, it even makes those little sounds when you expect it. Like, holy lord, that's actually really cool. Alright, let's let's use the um the HK four seventeen. Oh 
my god! Holy shit, this scared the crap out of me. The stats is pretty much similar to the Scar H. It's really, really, really no, not much of a slight difference, just difference is this thing is better in long range than the Scar H is. But the Scar H is better in CQC than this, than this is. But generally, they're both inter interchangeable to be honest, and they both have fairly similar stats. The Scar, Scar 417 isn't really that much different than the Scar H. So they both provide the the same, the same thing that used to this one. What are you doing up there? Get off of there. I would say uh, for this battle rifle though, it's really balanced. There's really nothing, nothing too, too good or too bad about it. It just falls right in between that balance, that balance category. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with this battle rifle to be honest. My guy is clueless. Oh, oh, oh! That was a close one. Oh, that was beautiful. Ooh, that was also beautiful. Like, genuinely getting kills is so satisfying. I don't know what it is. It's like just watch the guy and get a reward after you get, after you get a kill. It's like, oh. Who wouldn't get over that? Oh, oh, you just can't get over that, bro. Especially if it's if it's like a multi kill, like a feed, bro. Holy, it'll give, it'll give you give you wonders and joys. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Nobody will be satisfied when that happens. Our last weapon we're gonna be covering up is the K1A. Really, no. Really, almost like no difference with the uh, with the K2. It's just a Carby version of the K, of the K of the K2. It's just the Carby. It's just in the Carby. But main difference, this it it, it it just it just shoots faster with a much with a much more lighter damage. So basically, the whole purpose of it. I knew who was coming from the upstairs, I didn't react fast enough. Die. Die. Jesus, this melee is awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can, if I can like, try to get more kills with it, to be honest. Oh my god, oh yeah, this, this sound animation when you vault over an object is just so cool. Like, whoever created this should get a freaking promotion or something. This is genuinely one of the greatest ideas ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the frick? Is this another one spawned on top of him? Well, that's all for today's Phantom Force video. If you want me to do any more commentaries or like record any other games, comment down below. And as always, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.